that it's very hard, isn't it, to detect a lone individual sitting in a darkened room with a laptop uh, who has a predisposition perhaps to some violence, perhaps some low-level criminality, and over quite a short period of time uh, emerges into a radicalized mindset uh, and then rents a van and carries out or plans to carry out an atrocity. Of course, that is very hard to detect. And whereas a decade ago we tended to see physical radicalization face to face, we know now that the proliferation of extreme propaganda on the internet and through social media means that that sort of material is generally available to individuals who may be predisposed to think in certain ways.